The insufficient angular range message is one of the most common problems Profix users may encounter. In this video, I will explain the cause of the issue and show how to solve it. When we create instrument configuration files, we have to specify the angular range in which the profile shape will be calculated. I can demonstrate that if I edit my current fundamental parameters configuration. If I click on the goniometer or on the background of the graphical representation, I can give a minimum angle and a maximum angle. And within this range, the peak profile will be simulated and interpolated. And in this case, the minimum angle is at 2 degrees to theta and the maximum angle is at 80 degrees. Now, if we compare this with our data set, my data set was measured from 8 degrees to theta up to 100 degrees. So there is a gap between 80 and 100 degrees in which I have measured data, but I did not simulate the, the peak profile in my instrument configuration. And because in this range, uh, Profex does not know the shape of the peaks, it refuses to run and instead it issues this error message that the, the angular range in the instrument GEQ file is not sufficient. Now there are two possibilities to solve this problem. We can either just clip this range and only use the data up to 80 degrees for which we have a valid configuration or we can extend the configuration all the way up to, uh, to 100 degrees or more. And I will first show how to clip the data and only use data from 8 to 80 degrees. For that we go to our refinement control file and somewhere we should find a comment line that says uh, W max and to activate the, the maximum angle I can activate this line by removing the command sign and the space in front. Make sure there is no space character in, in front of, of the keyword and set it to 80 degrees. This means my uh, refinement will only use data up to 80 degrees. I could also clip data at the low end, for example, if I want to, to clip anything below 10 degrees, I would do it like that. Now I'm using data from 10 to 80 degrees. And this is all it takes to uh, remove the error message. If I know in which angular range the peak profile was simulated in the instrument configuration, I can just enter these limits here and ignore data outside of this range. The second solution is to extend the instrument configuration and of course this is the preferred solution because we don't want to waste any data we measured so we would like to use the data from 80 to 100 degrees and I can change the instrument configuration by going to instrument, edit my current FPA configuration and increase the angle, the maximum angle. I can increase it a lot for example up to 150 degrees. So it will work even if I go higher than 100, for example, up to 120 or even to 150 if I ever do that. The minimum angle of 2 degrees is already very low. We cannot set it to 0 because the, the configuration does not work at 0 degrees. We could set it to 1, uh, but most of us will rarely start measuring below 2 degrees. So 2 to 150 is a very good choice and we can start the calculation of the peak profile. Now we can use the full range of our data set, so we can comment these two limitations and repeat the refinement and now it runs without error message using also the data from 80 to 100 degrees.
We only edited our current instrument configuration file when we selected instrument edit current FPA configuration. So this means we edited the, the local copy in this project folder and not the one in the instrument repository. So if we go to locations, current project, we find four files for our current instrument configuration. These are the ones that are extended to up to 150 degrees to theta now, but they are only stored inside the project directory. So to make them available to uh, all projects from the selection dialog, we have to copy these files and go to locations, device repositories, select our personal um, local device repository and paste them here. Now they are they will show up in the add remove dialog here. I should have given a different name because now I don't know which one is the, the original one and which one is the extended one, but they appear both in this uh, instrument list. If you ever face this problem, I hope you now understand where it comes from and how to fix it. Please do me a favor and like and share this video and be sure to come back next time. Bye bye.